his little carrot snuggling. Aww. Or so cute. Ears. I love it. Okay. Ferrets are cute. Ferrets are I adorable. Don't, I don't want one, but they're cute. No, they're very cute. They're stinky, though. Yeah. Any of those animals. Rodents. Yeah. They're, they're not. Don't like no. It. But they are cute. They're cute. Even mice. Babies. Cute. Yeah. Tree frogs. Oh, adorable. Yeah. Hey guys, <laughs> this is this is not, you wouldn't know it, but this is the witch's magic murder this mystery. Is not podcast. National Geographic. <laughs> I'm Megan. I'm Kara, and it's Side Piece Tuesday. Side Piece Tuesday. I have got a witch story for you today. Yeah, yeah. I felt like I had done so many awful I murders know. lately that I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a witch. When you texted me asking me what I was doing, I was like, oh, I'm doing multiple murders in a row. Yeah. I need to mix it up. I need to find something. Yeah. Magical. To yeah, I texted Karen. I was like, can you just tell me what category of story you're doing? Yeah. Because I was trying to break it up a little bit. So yeah. I also, to we don't sure like to tell each much. other what we're going to do. Yeah. Just so no. you all know. Yes. So this side piece comes from an email we got from Mike. Yay, another listener. Here's the email. Have you two ever heard of. Uh oh. Dang it. Little words. Yeah. Well, it's not even. It's not a complicated word. I just still don't know how you say it. Have you two ever heard of the Witch of. Pungo is how I'm going to pronounce it. Okay. Her name is Grace Sherwood. Mike, I'm really sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. She lived in Virginia during the late 1600s to the early 1770s. She was accused of witchcraft, and her trial records are one of the few remaining court records we have of actual witch trials. I know. I think that part is so interesting. Not yay for witch trials, but yay for records. Right. Yeah. Just so you can actually base them. Yeah. As a side note, if you ever make it over to Virginia and into the colonial Williamsburg area, they put on a play there called Cry Witch. The play is based on Grace Sherwood. I want to go. I know. So then he gave a little more information, but I'm not going to read that part because I think it'll be more interesting for you to hear it as part of the bigger story. Okay. So Grace White Sherwood, known as the Witch of Pungo, is the last person known to have been convicted of witchcraft in Virginia. I love that this happened so long ago and we do have some court records. Yes. Grace was born in 1660, right there in Pungo. And in 1680, she married James Sherwood, a well-liked small farm landowner. Uh Grace's dad, John White, gave Grace and her husband 50 acres of land when they got married. Okay. And then when he passed away a year later, he left them another 145 acres of land. Oh my gosh. So this is a really big deal because the Sherwoods, were poor, and the area where they lived was more for people who didn't have any land at all or only yeah. a small amount of yeah. land. Grace and her husband had three sons, John, James, and Richard. So we're already dealing with two Johns, two James, and a Richard. Oh, gosh. Yeah. This is really hard. <laughs> I, I, won't, I won't really mention them again. <laughs> um, Grace helped her husband with the farm, and she also grew her own herbs. Okay. Which was apparently really weird at the time. Oh. I know. She used those. I know, me too. Yeah. She used those herbs for healing practices for people as well as animals. Good for her. In in addition to this, she was a midwife. Oh. uh, So. Yeah, that definitely got you accused of witchery. Oh, yeah. I've decided this. I have like a specific type of person Mm -hmm. that I enjoy. Yeah. And basically that type of person. Is a witch. Is any person who would have been considered a witch. Yeah. You know, hundreds of years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're that person. We love you. You're my type. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, apparently Grace was also super hot. Whoa. Uh, hey and you, know, you know how it is. Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> you know how it is and like people don't like you because you're so hot. Because you're so attractive. Um, every single one of you listening to this podcast, you know. You know. Um, body of a goddess. <laughs> <laughs> I have a friend who bought her husband a body of a goddess. Oh, my gosh. I'm like, that's it. the best thing I've ever heard. So anyway, I'm basing all of this on what other people said about her because there's no drawings, no paintings. Okay. You know, we just kind of know what people said. Yes. But apparently she was hot, tall, and really funny. Ooh. So again, we would have loved her. Yes. Oh, and she wore pants instead of a dress when she was working on the farm, which I mean, oh my God. Can you imagine? Showing those ankles. Okay. So to reiterate, this woman, Uh this female. Yes. She was attractive and witty and had the gall, the oh, the audacity. audacity to wear pants. Huh. It's like she had the confidence of a man. How dare she? So here's my favorite line in the Wikipedia entry about her. <laughs> the combination of clothing and good looks was said to attract men and upset their wives. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, why are we like this? <laughs> why are we like this? <laughs> good Lord. Why would somebody even write that? I just don't know. 
A biographer named Belinda Nash has studied Sherwood's story, and she thinks the jealousy surrounding Grace Sherwood for her looks and her land and just, like, whatever other reason people right. had to hate her is what led to the rumors of witchcraft. Okay. Um, people were out to get her. And then I wrote, they hate her because they ain't her, you know? <laughs> 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 I just make myself laugh it's all the so time. so funny. Um, okay, so Grace was involved in at least a dozen lawsuits, and she was oh either my God. defending herself yeah. against the rumors of witchcraft, okay. or she was suing the people who accused her. Ooh. So it would, like, someone would accuse her and take her to court, and then she would turn around and sue Heck them for yeah. defamation. Get yeah. it. The lawsuits started before her husband died. The first case was in 1697. She was accused of casting a spell to <laughs> kill a bull. And that case was dismissed, and then the Sherwoods, so not just Grace, but she and her husband, right. filed a defamation lawsuit against the guy who had accused her of this. Oh. And that resulted in a settlement. Okay. A year later, she was accused by two of her neighbors of bewitching the hogs and oh the cotton gosh. crop of one of those neighbors. Oh, my Again, gosh. Again, the court didn't make a decision on that case. But in return, Grace sued each of those neighbors for slander because she's a badass. But those lawsuits were unsuccessful. So whenever um, she would sue and it would be unsuccessful, then they would have to pay the court fees. Right. She and her husband. The thing about both of those cases is on um, both of them, it was like, and the court just didn't make a decision, which I think is funny. Yeah. The court's like, I don't know. I don't Like, what? <laughs> How do you prove this? Why are we here? <laughs> she's hot. Yeah. <laughs> are we just hating her because she's hot? Probably. Do we not make a decision because we want her to come back? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> <laughs> so that same year, a woman named Elizabeth Barnes. Okay, this is a story. All right. She took Grace to court because she said that Grace had transformed herself into a black cat, mm -hmm. entered Elizabeth's home, <laughs> jumped over her bed, whipped her, <laughs> the cat, and yeah, I know, I'm like, okay, let's talk about that, <laughs> and then left through the keyhole. Honey, just scruff it. <laughs> just, and again, the court is like, we, we don't, what? where do we, like, <laughs> where, is this It Alice? left through the keyhole, Alice you say. <laughs> They're and like, the Can you explain this keyhole situation for us again. We need to get this on record. Right. What's happening? So then the court doesn't make a decision. The Sherwoods sue for defamation and they lost. Okay. Grace's husband, James. I would have been like, but she called me a cat. Yeah. She, did you hear the part where she said, I jumped, became a cat, through a keyhole, whipped her, whipped her with my paws, <laughs> my kitty paws? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> um, so then her husband died in 1701. It left her with all their land. Okay. And I'm bringing up the land thing because I think it's important to note that she had a lot of land for the area. Like almost 200 acres. And once her husband died, she was the landowner. And it yeah. just gives people another reason to dislike her. It's kind of like um, like Elizabeth Bathory. Yeah. Like, it's a woman. Uh-huh. And she How has all these things. She? And women aren't supposed to have things. No. No. Women are supposed to sit quietly and do what we say and not own things. No. <laughs> in 1705. Grace got into a fight with her neighbor, Elizabeth Hill. That is not the same Barnes. Elizabeth that convicted her or okay. accused her of the cat. Yes. Name. Just, you Man. know, two Elizabeths. Oh, God. <sighs> Grace sued Elizabeth and her husband for assault and battery, and she won. <gasps> huh? And in that case, Grace was awarded damages of 20 shillings. Okay. <laughs> I was like, 20 shillings? Like, what does that mean? What right? you... What's that in... Yeah. That was... What's today's money? Okay. Yeah. So... I tried to Google it. <laughs> Here's the exact oh my thing God. I got. Okay. Word for word. I love this. A pound was worth 20 shillings, and each shilling was worth a dozen pennies. Today, a shilling from Churchill's England has the purchasing equivalent of five pence in the decimal currency system. Huh? I read that like 10 times, and I'm like, I still am no what closer to What does that have to do today? with the price of peas in no, Guadalupe? No, <laughs> Guadalupe. <laughs> so anyway, I don't know if that was a lot of money or not. Maybe it made the it made Elizabeth mad though. Elizabeth and her husband were it, yes. What, even if it wasn't much money, they yeah. were mad. Okay, they hated it. No clue how much money it was though. If any of you know, if any of you happen to be an expert in sixteen hundred six currency. To a Please message us. I'd love to know. To a black cat. I love how, by the way, when we do that, when we're like, look, I don't know the answer. If any of you do, yeah. people will. Oh, yeah. They'll people be like, here's the answer. They, and they nicely tell yeah. us. They're not like, God, you idiot. Oh, y'all are stupid. Learn to Google. And they're going to be like, there's no th such thing as a Guadalupe. I was like, <laughs> I'll just be like, that's because there's no peas there either. <laughs> so, 
That case happened in 1705. In January of 1706, the Hills, those people that I was just talking about, Mm -hmm. they accused Grace Sherwood of witchcraft. Okay. And she failed to answer the charge in court, which I love. I love that she was just like, are you serious? I have have no time for this this nonsense. This is ridiculous. (laughs) So then she was ordered to appear in court on the charge of bewitching Elizabeth Hill and forcing her to miscarry. And I am like, oh, that's odd. Like, I hate that she miscarried. Yeah. But also. She didn't. She's not a witch. No. Or maybe she was, but she didn't force you to miscarry. No. So, okay. In March, the court attempted to seat two juries, both made up of women. The first jury was ordered to search Grace's home for waxen or baked figurines that might indicate she's a witch. And the Mm -hmm. second jury was ordered to look for, prepare yourself for this. Okay. Ready? Demon suckling teats by examining Grace herself. They're asking if she has nipples? (laughs) But they've got to be demon, demon, nipples. demon suckling nipples. I don't know if those look different. <laughs> That's have I told you about mine and Kelsey's safe word when we're out at bars? No. Like when we want to go home, it's pizza nipples. <laughs> and now it's going to be demon nipples. demon nipples. <laughs> In both cases, reluctance on the part of local residents made it difficult to form a jury. So this didn't happen. Nobody wanted to be on the jury. Yeah. In the first place. And if they got seated on it, they just refused to carry out the searches. So (laughs) I'm really hoping it's because they had some sense and not because they were, like, afraid of the witch or something. On March 7th of 1706, Sherwood was examined by a jury of 12, quote, ancient and knowing women. I like that phrase. I want to be an ancient and knowing woman. I do, too. The four women. It's like an all-knowing. Right. We're ancient and we know everything. We know it all. The four women of this jury, by the way, was Elizabeth Barnes, the one who'd accuse her of being Get a cat. Out of here. <laughs> so I feel like she's not all that ancient no. and knowing. What? We would be a better, yeah, a better kind of ancient knowing. Just scruff the damn cat. So that, <laughs> so that jury was appointed to look for markings on Grace's body that might be the brands of the devil. Okay. And they discovered two dark marks, marks not like theirs or like those of any other yeah. woman, which is just stupid. Yep. It's just stupid. Like. Not like theirs or like those of any other woman. Yeah. Have you examined every, every other woman? Did did anyone on examine every woman's body? All those ancient and knowing women to see just how different the marks on Grace's body. No, like no. it's just so. Ugh. At this point, the court wasn't ready to officially declare Grace a witch. Okay. So then, some genius was like, "Oh my God, I've got it." Oh God. We'll duck her in water. Huh? If she sinks to the bottom, she's innocent. If she floats, she's guilty. Because the water, pure water, casts out evil. If she floats, it's because the water is, like, pushing her her back up. Okay, but you kind of float when you have air in your lungs. And also, if you sink to the bottom because you're innocent, wouldn't you die? You're done. There, um, So this was an actual thing back then. It was called trial by water. But even back then, in Europe, they had stopped doing it because it was recognized as super dumb. Yeah. Um, Unless you're in Virginia, apparently. Then it's fine. Then it's okay. So then Grace is taken... To a church. And it's the same church where she had been married, actually. Oh. And they were like, you need to ask for forgiveness for being a witch. And she said, I be not a witch. I be a healer. Oh. I know. At about 10 a.m. on July 10th, 1706, Grace was taken down a dirt lane now known as Witch Duck Road. Oh, okay. For, like, ducking the witch in water. Yes. To a plantation near the mouth of the Linhaven River. Lots of colonists came to watch, and they began to shout, duck the witch. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Five women of Linhaven Parish Church examined Sherwood's naked body on the shoreline for <laughs> any devices she might have to free herself. But we can't put her in pants. No. But let's she's look at a naked body. No rights whatsoever. So then they covered her with a sack after making sure there was no way she could free herself. Two boats went out on the water, one with six of the justices that had ordered the ducking, and the other with the sheriff, the magistrate, and Grace Sherwood. Grace was bound across the body. So her right thumb... Uh-huh is bound to her left big toe and her left thumb to her right big toe. So she's like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Everybody do it right now so you understand. Yeah. <laughs> and then they pushed her off the boat. No. And she floated. Oh God. Then the sheriff tied a 13 pound Bible <gasps> around her neck. And I don't understand why at this yeah. point. Yeah. Like, she already floated. Yeah. Why are you t- tying, tying a Bible to her neck? The word of. So she untied herself. And again, floated to the surface. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out, like, how does she untie herself yeah. when she's all, like, tied? 
with maybe her thumbs can, to her big toes. I mean, I can pinch things with my toes. Maybe she untied it with her toes. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been witchcraft, too. It would have been. Um, at that point, Grace Sherwood became Virginia's only person convicted as a witch tried by water. What happened after that is a little hard to say because some of the court records have been lost, but we know she Ooh, went to jail. They have. Yeah. They lost them on accident. She went to jail and she served up to seven years and nine months. So it's not a long, long time. Yeah. But she appears to have been released sometime in or before 1714 because in 1714 she paid the back taxes on her property. Oh. So they, like the county had taken it over while yeah. she was in jail, but then she was able to pay the back oh, taxes and get it back. Right. And she lived out the rest of her life on her farm, being awesome and gorgeous and funny and of course. wearing pants. Yeah. Until she died in August or September of 1740 at about 80 years old. Oh, good. Isn't that like a long life? Yeah. At, at that age? Yeah. Or that time especially? And also, she never remarried. Um, Sherwood lies in an unmarked grave under some trees in a field near the intersection of Pungo Ferry Road and Princess Anne Road in Virginia Beach. Stories about the devil taking her body, unnatural storms, and loitering black cats quickly arose after her death. And local men killed every cat they could find. No. And this might have caused the infestation of rats and mice recorded <laughs> in the county in 1743. Like, yeah, it's stupid. Um, the home she'd lived in stood for over 200 years. <gasps> At this point, all that remains are a few bricks and part of the foundation. And the property is now owned by the federal government as part of the Back Bay National Wildlife Refuge. On July 10th, 2006, the 300th anniversary of Grace Sherwood's conviction... Governor Tim Kaine granted an informal pardon to officially restore her good name, oh. recognizing that she was wrongfully convicted. Oh. I know. I love that. So that is all thanks to that biographer I mentioned earlier, yeah. Melinda Nash. Yeah. She was just like super into the story and she worked really hard to get the governor to you pardon go, Grace. Melinda. I know. I just love it. Like it's 300 years later. Yeah. But she's like, no, this still matters. Oh. I just think it's beautiful. And when he pardoned her, the governor said, With 300 years of hindsight, we all certainly can agree that trial by water is an injustice. We also can celebrate the fact that a woman's equality is constitutionally protected today, and women have the freedom to pursue their hopes and dreams. I love this I person. Love I love it. A statue, you're going to love this too, by California sculptor Robert Cunningham was unveiled in 2007 close to the sites of both the courthouse where she was tried and the ducking point. It depicts Grace alongside a raccoon, oh. representing her love of animals, and carrying a basket <gasps> containing garlic and rosemary in recognition of her knowledge of herbal healing. Oh my gosh, I, know. I love it. If anybody lives around there, can do us a picture. I want to see Send it. Send us pictures. Although, again, that's Virginia. We should go there, too. We let's really, just do, like, a whole East Coast road trip. Yeah, let's do it. When I die, I will you make a sculpture of me with, like, a cow? After I make your death mask. <laughs> oh, no. I just want a cow in a tree. Yeah, that's perfect. all I want. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. And <laughs> glad that sells. <laughs> in 2014, a memorial marker was placed at an herb garden of the old Donation Episcopal Church. Annual reenactments reenactments of the ducking have taken place since 2006. Oh my gosh, really? No one is actually ducked in those events. Yeah, but they just embark from a spot into the lake and then they go out there. According oh to local residents, a strange moving light said to be Sherwood's restless spirit. A will o' the wisp still appears each July over the spot in which Duff Bay, where Sherwood was thrown into the water. <gasps> I just love my favorite part of all this. Yes, is that this is just a woman living her life yeah. in the way that she wanted to. Yeah, and she wasn't doing anything that should have made her right. particularly famous. Right, but here we are, three hundred something years later, her life. still talking about it. Yeah, yeah. How Which just shows story? like what an impact impact you can make if yes. uh, you're just living your life the way you want to live it. You living know? your best life. I love it. I love it so much. So that is our side piece. Your side piece for Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mike, for sending that in. I yeah. really just, I loved it. And I'd never heard of her, so I really, really loved yeah, it. Yeah, no, same. As always, if you would like to send us something, you can find us on Instagram. Uh -huh. You can email us at witchesmagicmurdermystery at gmail.com. Yeah, we love getting your all stories. Yes. And we're attempting to get to all of them. I've had a couple of people like email me or message me on Facebook and be like, hey, remember, I'm still here. And I'm like, oh, gosh, I'm yeah. so sorry you're on our list. I mean, and the other thing is, is like, we, there may be some we just can't do for yeah. any number of reasons, but we save them all to a spreadsheet. So yes. we're doing what we can. We're not going in order. Yeah, we really aren't. <laughs> it's just what we can work on at the time. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Goodbye. Goodbye.